You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. I'm here with John Van Kuyken. Hi, John. Hi, Mark. John is the manager for the Brockton Farmers Market, correct? Yes, I at City Hall Plaza. City Hall Plaza, and it's kicking off. Uh, now it's really summer. Yes. Okay, it's going to get hot. Uh, wait until after the week of the 4th of July to kick it all off. It starts July 13th? Correct. Okay. Tell us about it. Um, so this year we have four farms. Uh, we have two returning from last year, Freitas Farm mm. and Sibling Organic Crops. Um, Sibling is a local farm uh, with lots of great uh, Asian vegetables as well as other things. Um, Sousa Family Farm out of Rehoboth and also Oakdale Farms out of Rehoboth are joining us this year for the first time. Nice. So you went from two to four. I like it. Yes. Uh, and Lady C&J Soul Food will be there most days with uh, lunch for people who wish to purchase it. Oh, they do great work. I yes. I love their food, and I was kind of wondering where they, where, where did they move to these days? They're, they used to be over at Perkins. I think the they're nice in. Um, well, we'll find them at the farmer's market. Yeah. The restaurant is closed, and they do catering, catering. out of another location. There you go. Okay. Um, but they'll be there? Yes. For the farmer's market. So it's 11 o'clock. Uh, the market starts at 10 a.m. That's right, you told me. And runs till 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, we do, at 11, we have the summer food service program. Uh, so we'll have lunches available for children 18 and under um, from 11 to, to 1230 uh, every Friday. Nice. So, yeah, it's free lunch for kids. So you, you, the adults can purchase the lunch, the kids get it for free. Yes. Okay, now, um, in, to buy the, the food, you can obviously have cash. Yes. To the, is it credit cards? Yes. Okay. Uh, the vendors all take debit and credit cards. Okay. Um, and they also accept SNAP uh, through the EBT card. Okay. And with the SNAP, uh, the state has extended the Healthy Incentive Program again this year for reimbursement for purchases of fresh fruits and vegetables at farmers markets. Yeah, because fresh fruits and vegetables are expensive. Yes. Okay, and especially organic ones, I would think, might be a little bit more, but you get what you pay for, right? and it is much healthier. And they're all, all picked yeah. uh, within 24 hours of the market, so you know you're getting the fresh stuff that's going to last longer and taste better than what you can get at the grocery store. I'll never forget, as long as I live, I went to a conference in Tucson, and it was Mexican, and they had a blackboard that you erase the menu every day because they always had the fresh vegetables. Yes. Ava best avocado I ever had in the world was there. Long, long Fortunately, time ago. you can't get avocados here because right. we don't grow them in New England. I understand that. I understand <laughs> that. But there's also an app. Yes. You were telling me about that, and that's new. <clears throat> yes. Uh, this year, we're partnering with Market Today um, with their app. It's Market, the number two day, D-A-Y. Um, and at markettodayapp.com, you can download the app to your phone. Uh, you can place an order using a credit or debit card um, up to a day before the market, and then uh, your order will be ready to pick up at the market during market hours. Can't beat that. So you don't have to wait in line. I'll be putting your order together. Um, one additional vendor will have available through the app though who will not be participating daily in the market, yeah. uh, Johnson Brothers Seafood. Oh, so okay. if you want fresh seafood, you can order it through the app and pick it up at the market. Oh, that's cool. Yes. That's all good news. And, and you're going to have music there too? Yes. Uh, we'll have a concert series uh, starting at noon every week. And then during the summer, uh, July and August, uh, we will have... Uh, Brockton Public Library prevent, presenting free kids programmings. Uh, there'll be stories, puppets, um, Vinny ba the Balloon Guy, yeah. uh, and Chris Levater the Magician will be there. Um, and Fuller Craft Museum is going to be uh, doing uh, crafting activities for kids. So you can make something in their tent. They'll help you make it, 
and you can bring it home with you afterwards. Um, what else? Uh, Good Samaritan Medical Center, our, one of our gold sponsors, um, is also going to be doing some health screenings, uh, blood pressure screenings, a few weeks uh, over the course of the market. And that schedule will be up on the website and on the Facebook page. Okay, um, so you have a Facebook page? Yes. Is it Brockton? It's Brockton, Brockton Farmers Market. Okay. At Facebook.com. And the website? And the website is BrocktonFarmersMarket.com. There we go. Um, and then coming back again this year, the UMass Nutrition Education Program uh, out of the extension will be doing uh, passing out healthy recipes and we'll have samples of one of those recipes every week. Is that Andrea? Collegian? Yes. She's been around doing all this stuff for a long time. Yes. And she's very good at what she does. And they'll be here July 13th through August 17th. Wow. Um, and the only time you're not going to be there is if it's threatening, if it's like thunder and lightning and yes. no one's going to be outside because there's a nice tent with metal spikes in it and those right, are good right. lightning rods and that would not be a good thing. Um, you did pretty well with weather last year, if I yes. remember. Yes. Yeah, uh, we were open every day, every Friday last year, um, even during the tropical storm. Mm -hmm. While it was kind of windy and we couldn't put up the tents, we had customers and we had farmers and we sold a bunch of produce mm -hmm. in the rain, um, which was fun. But there was no thunder and lightning, so That's we were counts. okay. That's all that counts. I think it's great because that plaza was all reinvigorated it looks nice, there's green space there. Again, yes. for years there wasn't because we had water issues in the city. It looks great. Um, they're the, to have the music, to have the, the activities, to have all the stuff that you're doing. We saw crowds. Every time I went in and out of City Hall for some reason, I'd see people waiting. So yes. the fact that yeah, you got we... the app now and they don't necessarily have to wait, they can buy their lunch, pick it up at the end of lunch and go home. Exactly. Um, you do need, for the app, you do need to order a day in advance. Okay. Um, Makes sense. So that the farms can put the, bring the food with them mm -hmm. for your, for the orders. Um, what else? We will have uh, Cape Verdean translators and Haitian translators nice. uh, at many of the markets. I think Cape Verdean translators from Brockton Neighborhood Health Center every week and Haitian translators from Good Samaritan Medical Who's Center. another sponsor. What, yes, when they are doing the, uh, the health screen, the blood pressure screenings. Perfect. Um, another sponsor, uh, Harbor One Bank. Okay. Um, generous support from them as well. They'll be there one, one or two days in October um, with some information and activities for the bank. Good community bank, and they gave me the one-minute queue, so I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. But we did the website and the Facebook. Is there a, is there a phone number, John, for uh, the, the group? Call the mayor's office. 508-580-7123. Yes. I know that number. So um, we'll have you back, and we'll come out to you and get some of, the, some of the video and the sights and sounds. Great. So thanks for coming on. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. Clear.